Hello, welcome back to the channel. This week we're doing an Outfits of the Week and I'm so excited because I haven't done one of these in so, so long. And it is fall, so I'm gonna take you through a week of outfits of what I'm wearing in fall in Georgia because right now it's like still in the 70s and 60s, so it's not really like proper fall attire and like sweaters yet, but maybe over the course of the next couple of days it will be because weather here changes up like crazy. So right now I have on this really cool layered moment with this black lace maxi skirt that goes all the way down to the ground. I love the gothy vibes of it. And then I recently just thrifted this double layer tank top with the asymmetrical hems going on. I just love how it's a layered tank and it's this green chartreuse color mixed with this black mesh fishnetting. It's such a cool top. And I can't wait to style it with like some actual like jeans and pants too. I think it'll look really cool with that as well. And then for my shoes, I have on my thrifted DKNY little metallic stilettos. They're like in between a pump and a stiletto. They're kind of high, but they're pretty easy to walk in surprisingly. And I love a good pointed toe shoe right now. Hopefully you can see it in the frame. But yeah, it goes along with the silver jewelry that I have. I just recently thrifted all these bangles. I've had this one for a while, but I recently thrifted the green, the red, and the other silver ones. And then I just added my other jewelry on top of it. This little satin string around my neck tied in a bow. And then for my makeup and hair, I just recently cut bangs and got my layers fixed in my hair. So I'm feeling fresh. I just need to like do my roots now and I'll be good to go. And then for my makeup, I just have on my everyday smoky eye and then a really good fall vampy lip purse I'm carrying tonight is this really cool leather black slouchy bag with this amazing handle on it. I recently just thrifted for like $4. How cool is that? Love the black plain silhouette, the bigger bag silhouette that we've been seeing a lot. And then that silver metal handle just goes so good and just adds like a good elevated basic. That's what I'm like really into right now is really cool avant-garde plus elevated basics. So if you want me to do like a what's trending in my world or what's at the forefront type deal of my closet this fall, let me know because I'm kind of like not really keeping up that much with trends as in like I'm not too worried about them. I'm still dabbling in them, but I'm just kind of going off what my Pinterest board and my vibe is right now instead of looking at like what's actually trendy. So today is just basically a work from home day. I have a video meeting in about 30 minutes that I need to do. And then after that, I'm going to be just finishing up bundles. And then I might, if I get them all packed up in time, go run them to the post office real quick. So this is just my casual work from home fit and maybe like running out the house for a quick second. So I have on this gray wet look velour maxi skirt. I absolutely love a good velour maxi skirt. I have a few colors in these and they're just really good elevated basics to have in your closet especially for fall and winter time because they're a little bit on the more warmer side because of the velour and then you can just pair tights underneath it when it gets cooler and then i recently thrifted this double layer little micro mesh long sleeve and it has this really cool like 90s y2k print all over it and it's in this great like cool toned gray and black colorway for the shoes i just have on these really small little black heels that give me like Mason Margiela vibes without being Margiela's. And they're just a really good staple little black heel to pair with like simple outfits like this. And I feel like this would be a really good going to into the office to work type outfit too. My makeup, I just have my basic everyday smoky eye with a nude lip. It's just my go-to for like simple days where I'm not needing to be too dressed up. For my necklace, I have on this chain that my friend made and it's just a double layer. I have it layered up with a safety pin. And I just have my everyday rings on. I love having my hands full of rings. And then if it ends up being chilly when I run out the door today, I'm gonna put on this denim blazer. It's a very light jacket, perfect for the fall time. And the blue tones still go with the cool tone of the grays and the blacks. So I think it works really well together, honestly. And it's just a nice little sophisticated look too. So this would be a really good going to work outfit for people that are looking for more ideas for in office type vibes. And then I'd also pair this pale yellow little fake Louis Vuitton bag. I just think it looks really cute. Gives it a nice little pop of color. Day 
is going to be a thrifting and sourcing day for the bundles and just my shop in general. So I want to be comfy. It's the weather is really fluctuating here. That's usually how it goes where I live in, during the fall time. So the other day it was pretty cold, but today it's pretty warm. It's like in the seventies, almost eighties. So I got to be a little bit cooler with how I'm dressing. So I have this cute little new thrifted baby tee. I think it's like from the seventies. So adorable. It says cherry blossoms on it and then has this cute little number on the back. Very bloquette vibes. And yeah, it's a vintage tee and I like the little cap sleeves on it too. And then I have on this cute little denim utility little cargo skirt. Love. And I love that it is kind of like right over my ankle so you can see the shoes that I have paired under this, which are my little Converse shoes that kind of remind me of the boxing style boot that's so in right now. So yeah, those are cool. I just wanted to have a nice comfortable shoe that still went with the outfit that wasn't my Crocs because <laughs> that's usually what I go thrifting in. And then I have on some bangles and this cool little cuff that has the same color pink as in the shirt. And then I have this a uh, brighter pink little um, spiked bracelet along with this green bangle I thrifted recently to go along with the green in the shirt. I recently thrifted this pink and gold beaded little necklace and it has this pendant of this like vintage looking flower on it. It's just too cute. So I thought that went with the vibes of this. It's like the same color pinks going on. For my makeup, I just kept it really simple. I just uh, don't have anything on except for a nude lip liner and a more neutral pink lip gloss. And I like the way that looks without any other makeup on, especially for like a simple day like as long as i have my lips on to be honest i'm good to go for my bag i just recently got this at a outdoor flea market near my house i'm absolutely in love with it It was five dollars there's a little bit of damages on it but i figured since it was just going to be a personal of mine who cares so and i've been looking for more bigger bags anyway and i like this like chain detail it has on it and then it has like this front wallet pocket and it's this really cool like muted pink color and then it's like kind of like distressed looking i don't know the leather like looks muted and weird i don't know how to explain it but i think it goes really good with this pink in the shirt too and just the overall vibe of my outfit today i think it, a bigger bag is good and i always have to have a bigger bag with me thrifting because i have my measuring tape my water my coffee and sometimes my handheld tripod. I also have headphones that I bring with me. There's just a lot of stuff I need to bring with me while I'm thrifting all day long. So if you ever run into me at the thrift, this is probably how I will look. Some variation of this. <laughs> just another work from home day. I'm finishing up the rest of the bundles that I've already sold in the first round and then got to start on the second round of bundles that I've already sold. So I'm just going to be doing that all day here at home. And then I have some like organizing and cleaning to do in my Depop, like styling room, like inventory room. So I'm just gonna be doing a lot of stuff at home today. I'm not even planning on leaving, but since I'm going to be filming content too, I decided I'd get ready. So I am pretty much out of my comfort zone completely in this outfit, but I wanted to push my boundaries a little bit and play around because I recently thrifted this like mini dress tank situation and I really wanted to pair it over like jeans and play around with stuff like that so today since it's still a hotter day during the fall it's like 75 degrees outside right now I decided I wanted to go ahead and still like get some use out of my like summer clothes while I can because it is still hot so I have also capris that I thrifted recently too that have some embroidery and stars and stuff on it. This is just like a really lightweight cotton little tank dress situation. It's got these orange little polka dots with this white lace ruffle at the bottom that wraps around to the back. I really like this top. And then I paired underneath it this short sleeve little um, Peter Pan collared little top. And I just think it like gives a little bit of clownish vibes, but then it this little ruffled collar situation ties in with this down here. I think the proportions were really good together. And then um, for the shoes, I decided to tie in some orange and some funk with the orange polka dots that are going on with the top. And I don't really ever wear these shoes. They're kind of small. So I figured since I was just wearing them around the house today that it would be cute and just, you know, I just want to try a different look out, even if I'm just staying at home and filming content. So they're these cute little, I think they're like driver shoes or something. They're really comfortable. Um, and they have these brown and orange panels on them. They kind of almost remind me of like a bowling shoe or something. They're really fun. And then for my socks, I just have on these 90s 
Pachaco Sanrio socks. They're so cute. They were mine when I was little. I saved them. And the pops of white in the sock just go along with the pops of white in the top. Now, if I were to go out, I'd probably be kind of uncomfortable in these shoes since they are kind of tied on my toes. So to pair with this, I'd probably just pair some chunky uh, combat boots with it because I like the way combat boots look with a capri pant and I feel like that would just go really good with this too. And then for jewelry, underneath the Peter Pan collar, I have this cute little rabbit <laughs> with a knife and then just one of my uh, pendant necklaces that has praying hands on it. I just like how subtle it is poking out under the collar right there. And then I have my grandmother's jingly bracelet on along with some silver bangles that I recently thrifted. For my makeup, I tied in some more orange with my eyeshadow and then I just did like a nude pinky glossy lip. So I'm at the end of my day today. I've just been so busy trying to do housework and content and finishing up bundles. So we're at the end of the day. I look a little crusty, a little musty, but I wanted to show you my outfit before I went ahead and took all this off. So I'll put a better clip of the shoes that I'm wearing in right now. They're so cute. I thrifted them a while ago, actually. It's the first time I've really ever worn them out, though. They're pretty comfortable. I'm not going to lie. They're a little big, but they fit. And it's still pretty warm today in the 70s, so... Um, I have a few light layers on. I have these like cropped velour Xana D pants. They're like a really dark blue with the faded contrast on it. And then for my base layers, I have on this blue tank top and then this micro mesh little slip dress layer thing along with this baby blue lace tank top. I love all these light layers for this transitional weather going on. And then I have on my little star sweater that I thrifted a few years ago. I have on my everyday rings, those bangles from the other day as well. And then I think I wore this bracelet the other day too. Can't remember, but I'm loving chrome, silver jewelry, metallic jewelry, any type of like that metallic metal. And then this is like my favorite sound lately. <laughs> this is just a really comfortable, casual fit that's just really put together. And I feel f very stylish in this too. And today I don't have any makeup on besides like a little vampy berry lip. Today is mine and Robbie's seventh wedding anniversary. I can't even believe it. It feels like we just met and have been together for 20 years. So odd. I can't believe we've been together seven years, like married though. Crazy. So we're going out for like an anniversary day date, going to get some lunch in the square and probably going to get some coffee at our favorite coffee shop afterwards. And then we might go thrifting. Maybe. I don't know. For my makeup, I did my everyday type of smoky eye no foundation, just have some like highlight on the face and some blush. And then I have my like brown lip liner with a nude lip. And then I recently saw Madison Wild, if you follow her like on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, show how she does her like claw clip hair. And so I tried it out today. She just like starts throwing it up in like a crazy way. It took me like 10 minutes to get it down and I was getting so frustrated, but I think if I do it more and more, it'll come naturally more, but I love how it has like my layers down right here. And then I have these two back pieces down as well back here. It's just so nineties vibes. So that's what it looks like in the back. Pretty cute. I love a messy hair look, something that doesn't look too put together. You know what I mean? And then I have this satin tie and a bow and then this gold necklace. That's a um, honeycomb with a little silver bee on it. And you know I love mixing my metals, so that's what I've done today too on my other jewelry as well. So I have those silver bangles I've been wearing, and then these two new ones I've thrifted. So it's this yellow one and black one, and then this gold one with these two cute little boots on it. How cute! Ah! I like fell in love when I found all these bangles. And then the shirt I recently thrifted, I think the same day is like most of the stuff I'm about to show you. It was a good day that day. Um, this micro mesh double layered. 90s top look at the cute print on this it's like this floral like grungy 90s moment and then on the back it's just black satin look at those sleeves too i love that it's very sheer and it has a slight shimmer to it as you can see and then there's like a little bit of rhinestone detail on the collar and then this skirt i've had for a few years i thrifted it as well it was brand new with tags when i found it it also came with this thick 
belt that's like a suede and i just um this is one of my favorite skirts to wear in the fall and winter time and then it's got a warm toned denim with a slight pinstriping on it so cute and then i recently thrifted these kind of slightly pointed toe square toed little loafer kitten heels that i thought really went well with this look all the tones are really good together and i usually just wear like my combat boots with everything but i'm trying to have more mature like shoe styles in my wardrobe and i really love this and they're comfortable easy to walk in give myself like a nice little heel on the back without being too like extreme I'm loving this outfit, to be honest. And then let me show you some finishing touches. So I'm gonna bring a light jacket just in case the weather decides to change a little bit or it gets breezy or the sun goes down while we're out. So I also, that same day, thrifted this animal print suede little brown lightweight blazer. I think that will go so good with this. Yeah, I was right. This is so cute and I love that it cuts like right at my hips too. It's like the same color as the shoes and it's a nice like proportion color wise where it breaks up the brown down there and then we pull it back in up here. Yeah, I'm loving that. And then the bag, I thrifted the same day as well. Look at these tones. I'm loving this warm tone outfit. Usually I'm a cool tone girl mixed with black and everything, but I'm loving mixing like blacks, browns, and like also mis mixing like my metals too, like the golds and the silvers. I think it's fun. And I think it looks really good with my skin tone and my hair color too. I love the silhouette of this bag and the O-ring details. And then it's got that brown animal print situation. I love. And then there's like three huge compartments in the middle. Love, love, love that. So here is the finished look. I'm in love. I feel so sexy. It's a good little day to night look too. You can wear this out to dinner as well. Today is another work from home day. I actually went and thrifted a little bit this morning before Robbie went to work so he could use the car. We went like right when they opened. Did not find what I needed for the bundles. So now I'm just home trying to finish up the bundles that I do have everything for. So it is getting a little chilly here. I think today is supposed to be the coldest day though of the week. So I have this nice like really soft long sleeve little grommet details on the side of each sleeve. I love that subtle detail. And it's got like a slight wide boat neck to it too. I think it's really like casual sexy vibes. Then just my little metallic heart pendant that I style with like almost everything because it just works so well. I just have my wedding ring on since I'm working from home and not doing much else. I have some of my favorite boot cut flare jeans on that have that nice like wash that have that like whisker wash detail as well. These are, um, I think these are polo assassin jeans, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, they're some of my favorites. I love the way they fit. And then I just recently thrifted these boots that I have on. They're like half calf moto buckle boots. Um, if you can see that. And they're really comfortable. I just love how like kind of like subtle model off duty this looks. And then again with my hair, I had it the same way as I had it yesterday because I haven't washed it yet. And I'm actually like so in love with wearing my hair like this now. I cannot get enough of it. And then on the sides, just to spice it up a little bit, I added these two tiny little braids. I think that looks so cute. And then my makeup is just um, my everyday little grungy smoky eye. And then I have on like a pinky nude-ish lip and gloss situation on my lips. So this is the work from home vibe today. Let me also show you how I'm going to turn this casual day look into a going out to dinner, like casual date night look too. I'm going to add a few different accessories. So earlier today when I went thrifting in this, I also carried this bag. I forgot to show you the bag that I had. I just thrifted this bag uh, last week also. I love the black leather and then just the cool little like studded rounded details it has on it. And I think it looks so good with this outfit. And it's such a nice big slouchy bag. I'm loving that lately so much. It just holds all the crap I need for the day. So let's turn this casual daytime look into a like more casual, but still kind of fancy dinner date maybe, like me and Robbie going out to dinner tonight maybe for a more nighttime look. Like this could still work as a nighttime look for sure because this is what I actually wore the jacket to. I'm like forgetting all the pieces of this outfit. My brain is all over the place. Sorry, it's just been kind of a long day already. So this is the jacket that I wore out this morning when we ran to the thrift store for a minute. 
and it's this really cool two-toned corduroy zip-up jacket. It's got like this muted gray color along with this like muted eggplant color on the sleeves. I love this jacket so much. It's the perfect lightweight little fall jacket. I love the way it hits on right at my hips. And this is how it looks zipped up. That's a whole nother outfit in itself, honestly. I love the way it's zipped up. And I just love the purse with it, love the boots with it. I feel like with a uh, skirt too, this would be a really cool look and then you could see the boots more. But I just love that subtle little boot popping out at the bottom. Just a nice little classic daytime look. So let's turn this into the nighttime look. I thrifted some shoes. That's the only thing I thrifted when we were there. It was kind of a wasted trip. I did get some $6 little kitten heels though. It's a pretty good deal. So since red is a fall trend, I recently thrifted two red items. They're kind of a slightly different color red, but they'll be broken up enough when I have them in the outfit that it'll still work. So the shoes I thrifted today are these really cute, I feel like they're brand new, um, little pointed toe red kitten heels. Yeah, there was a like uh, tissue stuffed in there like they might be new. So that was a good sign. I still disinfected them though, obviously. So instead of the moto boots, I'm going to put on these kitten heels. There's a better look at those moto boots I had on. Really nice and comfortable, casual type of boot. And then instead of that little casual jacket, I just recently thrifted as well. This like midi trench that is leather. I literally love a kitten heel pointed toe popping out of some jeans. Love the look of that. And then this jacket just adds that more dressed up nighttime vibe to it. And since it is a little bit more chillier today, it'll be practical too. We love that. And then just to accessorize a little bit more, I added some of my everyday rings that I would wear out. The only reason I don't have them on with the daytime outfit was because like wasn't going anywhere. And to finish off the nighttime look, I would pair this red bag I just thrifted. I love all of the pocket detailing that it has on there. And it just goes with the shoes, goes with the leather vibe of the jacket. I just feel like just super comfortable and classic in this, honestly. Be ready for honestly any type of event. After dinner, we'd go for drinks in this, bowling in this, because I could still swap these shoes out for bowling shoes and still be comfortable in the jeans. Um, we could do so many things in this. So it's a nice casual outfit. And then of course, once you get into the function, you can take this off and just have your cute little casual black top with all your cute little accessories going on. Let me know down below what your favorite outfit was from this week and if you want to see more little like fall outfit of the weeks. I'm also planning on doing some just like typical fall outfits that I'm planning on wearing this season. I just have to get around to filming it. So if you want to see that, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.